After a tumultuous election campaign, at five o'clock Irish time, the first exit polls showed the two main parties were neck and neck. ZDF did give the centre-left Social Democrats a two-point lead over Angela Merkel's Christian Democrats at 26%. But another public channel, ARD, declared a straight tie between the two main parties at 25% each. Earlier, the leaders of the three main parties cast their votes. Olaf Scholz, the 63-year-old finance minister in the outgoing Grand Coalition, voted in Potsdam, calling on SPD voters to give him a mandate to become the next chancellor. Angela Merkel's chosen successor, Armin Laschet, voted in the western city of Aachen. This election, he said, would decide the direction of Germany for years to come. Also in Potsdam, Annalena Baerbock cast her ballot. In April, the polls have suggested the 40-year-old leader of the Greens could even become Chancellor, the party's hoping at least to double its share of the vote. By lunchtime, the turnout was around 36%, down on four years ago, but this time around there's a huge postal ballot. At Charlottenburg in Berlin, many voters spoke of the need for change. Oh, that there's a change. That's my most important Point, you know, 16 years was more than enough. Uh, have you decided who you'll vote for? Oh, definitely. Look at my bag. Olaf Scholz. People just voted for her because she promised stability and now it's a much more open election uh, and a lot more possibility for actually uh, changing the direction of this country. Because in the end, Angela Merkel, while she provided that kind of stability, she also didn't tackle the the big issues. We really need change for families and for education. We need somebody who represents us and who speaks for our interests, also for women. Since 1961, no party has been able to form an absolute majority, and since then, four coalitions of two parties have alternated. Whatever coalition is formed after today's election will face numerous challenges. As Chancellor Merkel arrived at CDU headquarters this afternoon, many Germans were wondering if her era of stability may have hidden a kind of stagnation.